most of the excitement right now is looking at inhibitors of FLT3. Okay, and those drugs are furthest along in, in development. Um, uh, we know that 25 to 30 percent of patients with AML with normal karyotype will have activating mutations in FLT3, typically in internal tandem duplication. We know that there are a number of drugs that can inhibit that FLT3 tyrosine kinase. And from monotherapy studies, FLT3 inhibitors have been shown to have um, efficacy in terms of decreasing BLAST counts. Um, the uh, drug, how, no, no drug is FDA approved in this space yet. Um, we do know that serafinib, which is FDA approved for hepatocellular carcinoma and renal cell carcinoma, has activity in, um, in FLT3 ITD positive AML, especially in relapses post allotransplant. This has been published in Blood, a small series of six patients showing high response rates in these post allotransplant relapses with single agent serafinib 400 milligrams twice daily. So an, clearly an off-label use of, of that drug. The drug that's in uh, furthest along in clinical development is quizartinib, used to be called AC220. Quizartinib is um, a FLT3 inhibitor. As monotherapy, again, it has shown um, high response rates. Um, I do have one concern about the published and present, not published, but presented data, and that is um, the responses tend to be mostly complete remissions with incomplete marrow uh, or incomplete blood count recovery. So I'm a little concerned that these might be tantamount to patients clearing their leukemia without count recovery afterwards. Um, however, having said that, this may be a very important drug for uh, bridging patients to an allogeneic stem cell transplant, which would be the only curative option for, for patients with relapsed FLT3 ITD positive AML. Um, so that drug continues in clinical uh, development. Um, there is a mutation that can develop in patients who respond to quizartinib. A, the D835 mutation can develop. Um, another drug that's uh, in clinical, early clinical development is crinolinib. Cronolinib is active against both the FLT3 ITD and the D835 mutation.